Welcome to this tutorial on the product group management, a tool that will permit you to change cost, price, and profit margin formula on several products all at once. Great for price changes. Also, you can deactivate or activate a group of products in seconds. Here's how. You can find this tool under the menu Admin, Product, Product Group Management. First, you need to search the group of product that you want to work on. You will recognize the usual search criteria. Let's search as an example of the mid lens. I will choose a category, single vision, and a supplier. You can also specify a brand of the product that you want, but for my example, I'll leave it blank. As a default, it will always search product at the product level and for active product only. There are other search criteria here, but we'll see this later. Now let's click on search to view our desired product list. The search result down here presents the fields of the products that was not selected as criteria, plus the four fields that can be modified with this tool, meaning the value of active, the cost, the formula, and the sales price. You could refine your product search with another additional criteria. Either search for any product that has a formula value selected, or no formula at all, therefore empty. Or all the product with a value of cost in an interval of your choice. Or products without a value of cost, therefore empty. Same idea for the price value. This really allows you to target the batch of product on which you want to work on. Once you're satisfied with the product list result, you are now ready to make the desired changes. In the upright section, you have tools which allows you to apply changes to the full list of products below. If you already have the cost to your product, you can change the cost in batch by a fixed value, or increasing in dollar, or increasing in percentage. For my example, I will increase the cost of 1.5% from the actual cost, and I will apply. Watch the cost column. They're all done. It is important to know that this tool allows you to work the changes on the screen, and that only once you're satisfied, you make them effective, just by posting them to the server. So for the moment, I will continue my changes. A cost change usually means a price change. Then let's do that. For the price change, we have the same principle. Either assign a fixed price, increase in dollar from the displayed price, or increase in percentage. You can also use a formula to create your prices, which will be calculated from the cost. The use of formula with this tool makes it so easy and fast to create your prices. You see, if you have already a formula on your product, you only have to recalculate this existing formula based on the new cost. Watch the price of the product with the formula as I click on Apply. It's done. You can assign a new formula to the group of product displayed. You only have to choose one here and Apply. The old list has now this formula and did calculate your new sales price. Or if you only want to assign the formula to certain product or choose a different depending of the product, you can do this individually on the product line. Once on the product, click again to open the field and make your choice on each desired product. You must then recalculate price from formula in the pricing tool and apply. If you do not have profit margin formulas already defined, you need to create them first. Go to the admin menu, product, on the product type that you want, profit margin. You could create some for all the different type of product. You give it a name, Specify the style of rounding and then define a formula by interval of cost. You have up to two operators. 
To learn more on how to create these formulas, I invite you to read the tip and tricks on this subject. You could find it under the Initialization section. Let's go back to our tool. You can also make individual changes directly in the list for costs and prices. If, for example, your change cannot be applied in general to all products as shown previously, you can change the cost directly on the line for each product. Once on the product, click again to open the field, enter the value, and click Enter. It is ready for the next one. So on and so on. Very convenient to start to enter costs to your products. And if, for example, you do not have formula or costs on your products, you can do your prices the same way. Directly on the price field, click to open the field, type the value, click enter, and the next one, and the next one. It's really easy and simple data entry. Once you did revise everything and that you're satisfied with your changes, you just need to click on Post Change to Server and it will be affected. Let's review this again with another example. First, it is important to search your product on which you want to work on. And do not hesitate to practice this search with this tool. Here I will search for our contact lenses for a specific supplier. I have a nice view of all my price structure, but my result has too many products. I will search for a more precise list by adding, for example, a category as a search criteria. Again, you could use those different search criteria to target the right group of product wanted. I can see in my overall view that I have a product without a cost. I will need to manually enter it. But before I will apply my increase of costs on the full batch of product like this. And now I'm going to enter the cost that was missing. There, all my product has now a new cost. For the sales price, I can apply the same rule to increase the value. After applying, I see that there are some prices that I could round up so I will directly change those on the line. Once I'm satisfied, I just post to server. But to modify or create your sales price on your products, the application of a profit margin formula is an excellent way to proceed and very fast. You choose it, you apply, and your prices are all done. In general, your prices should be managed at the product level. But sometimes, for the products that you manage in inventory as frames or miscellaneous product, you enter the prices at the detail level, meaning at each item number. Let me show you how to verify and clean this up. Here I'm going to search for miscellaneous products with a specific category and supplier. By default, the search is at the product level. Let's search. In this case, I can see well the costs and prices of these products. But now I will search for the same group of products, so I won't touch the search value. But I will specify that I want the detailed view of these products here on the top. Search. Oh, you see, there is also some cost and price here. The danger is that if you make changes to the product, which is good, but without checking if there is some at the detail level, you did this for nothing. You must know that the system always takes as a priority the prices at the detail if it exists. If it's blank, it will take the price at the product level. The only time that you would have to price at the detail level or for cases where certain detail of a product would have a different cost, example a special color of a frame or a different range of sphere cylinder on an optimate lens, those situations are exceptional. That's why we recommend to manage your costs and prices at the product level. It's easier to view your price list and to manage. 
Therefore, before making price changes on the products that may have different details, do the exercise of checking before. If these costs and price are redundant, remove them from the detail. Easy to do with this tool. After entering your changes at the product, search the detail of those same products. To clean this, apply the action to empty the field of costs, and price, and formula, if applicable, on the entire product displayed. Then post to server. You see, the product group management tool really allows you to easily see your data and make a better management on your product. You may have some cleanup to do. Speaking of better management, take advantage of this tool to also deactivate your old products or discontinue brand. Do your search on the targeted products. If the full result is to be deactivated, just right click on the active column and choose to uncheck all. Or if it's not the full result that needs to be deactivated, only uncheck the individual product, then post to server. It's done. Another int. You could also select certain product from the list that you would not want to apply a bash change with the function here on the top. As a default, the entire list is check apply. You can uncheck certain product that you wish not to change in your bulk modification. Oh yes, another interesting thing. This screen is an independent window that you could reduce while working with it, just in case you would like to do two things at the same time. And to return to it, go down in the taskbar and click on the product group management window. If you need additional assistance on the product group management, do not hesitate to communicate with our support and training service by phone or by email. We hope that this tool makes you more productive.